Welcome to ZomboCon. Oh, I mean, uh, welcome to my How to Play Like a Pirate video, also known as How to Have Fun in FTL. I don't assume to know what you consider fun, so I'm not gonna judge if you enjoy having a cactus rammed up your ass, which is what FTL normally is. So, you know, if you want to have fun with it, you bought it, and you're just like, oh my god, this game's so freaking hard, it's annoying, and I can't get any ships or any of that stuff, then just keep watching. And before anybody starts on the comments with the whole Swartz War 3, when is it going to be done? It's coming, guys. I'm just... Gotta give me a break. I don't play the game anymore, so... When I start working on it, and it's a very long video, by the way. I start working on it, and I just lose interest, because I don't play it anymore. I'm just like, I don't want to do this shit. So, yeah. Just like that. Okay, so... I didn't unlock all the ships in this game because I thought it was retarded how you could play for, you know, a month and still not have everything unlocked. Um, it's, it's bullshit that all the ships are unlocked through some sort of randomization for a quest that leads into another quest that leads into another quest. It's, it's kind of retarded. No, actually, it's full retard. It's full retard. And... So I just said, fuck it, I'm just going to look up how to, you know, unlock them all. And sure enough, you know, you can just download the profile, save, and overwrite your own. Of course, it gets rid of all the scores and shit like that. So if you really, you know, value your scores, then don't do it. Um, otherwise, keep watching and enjoy. Alright, so first, you're going to choose the crystal ship, of course. And then the red one, the carnelian, because it comes with uh, the cloaking device and the teleport. And these three crystal dudes who have probably the most overpowered ability in the entire game. Probably. No, I'm pretty sure they do. Anyways, uh, you start the game, the guy gives you a bullshit tip about how death is part, you know, part of the fun, and uh, no comment. <laughs> Anyways, you send your two dudes to the teleporter you go to the next mission make sure some dudes piloting and our first enemy is a mantis scout okay so there's a big room right there where the weapons uh, at the start of the game you always want to go for the weapons later on you can just go for the shields as long as you have the defenses to take care of them um, also you, at the very beginning you pause the game you cloak yourself and you teleport your dudes and you use their special ability called Lockdown. You see how I'm targeting it right now? I used one of the dudes Lockdown. Now I'm going to use the other one as soon as those... There we go. As soon as they go down. And it just gave me enough time to blow up the, the weapons. He hit me, but, you know, it doesn't matter. So now I just wait in there for these guys to come in. And it looks like it's just two of them piloting this ship. So, um... You know, I'm going to fight him for a while. Now, it doesn't matter if I don't kill him, because if you notice, they don't have a med bay on their ship, so they're fucked. So I'll just teleport back, pause, teleport, and then, you know, just send them to the med bay, and then cloak again, and just wait, and then go back in there and finish them off. It's pretty much like that for for most of the of the fights. Now, you notice I don't have any weapons, and... That means that if you fight one of those Zoltan ships with the super shields, you can't teleport. So you're going to have to get at least a crappy weapon to take down the super shields, and then you can take them down. Now, by the end of the game, you want to make sure you get the drones and two of the Mark I defense drones. You don't want the Mark IIs because the Mark IIs start shooting the lasers, and they'll ignore the missiles because they're so busy trying to shoot everything at once. But the Mark 1s only shoot missiles. And if you get two of them, <laughs> you're good to go, man. Just get like four shields and two drones and, you know, a weapon to shoot down super shields. And you are good to go for the whole thing. Um, let me skip ahead here. All right, so, you know, if you make it this far, by the end of the game, your ship will be outfitted. You'll have a dude on every station. And hopefully you'll get some really good augmentations. Um, I got rid of Crystal Vengeance because it's 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 a garbage ability. Ten percent every time you get hit. Well, with this ship, 
you will, with any ship, you don't want to get hit. And if you do, 10%, what is that? Ten percent, ooh, you know, big deal. Um, you want to get something else you can use, like shield boost or cooldown on weapons. Particularly, if I had the choice, I would get the ones that uh, heal the the nanobots that heal everybody on your ship. Those are great. So, as you can see, um, I have four dudes to attack with. I'm not going to send them into the into the weapons bay. I'm going to send them into the shields, so I can take down their shields. Hopefully, kill people that are inside of it. And, uh, of course, cloak at the beginning of every single battle. Because while you're cloaked, they can't charge their weapons. So that gives you even more time. Now, see, right, right now I should have activated my defense drone, but I didn't for some reason. Um, and that would just negate all their attacks. Because if you notice, they only have a burst 3 or burst... Yeah, it looks like a burst 3 mark laser. And a missile. And that's it. Well, the, the lasers aren't getting through at all, but the missiles are. Missiles are. So you just put up a drone, like I just did now, finally, and uh, that'll take care of everything. And then you know I finished killing off the crew, and I got a crap load of resources. Usually, I get a lot of resources. And on slaver ships, if you kill the crew instead of blowing up the ship or intimidating them, you get to choose what you want to join your ship and you get to free the rest of the slaves so you're like a badass pirate <laughs> you're the good pirate um yeah make sure your cloak is always ready now i upgraded my oxygen my health and my weapons and stuff like the upgrade like once you get everything you need like you know shields and a good decent engine and a pilot make sure you upgrade everything past what you have so that if it does get hit, it doesn't turn off whatever you have activated. Because that's the worst that could happen. It's like, you're like, oh, okay, I haven't just enough to use this uh, thing, you know, like the cloak or the, the weapons. And, and then your weapons get hit. Everything's off. <laughs> so, yeah, you're fucked. Of course, I don't have very much on weapons, but uh, I don't really use my weapons that much. I, I, I turn I use them but they're not necessary, because I just killed the crew. This guy, the same thing. I go a ship, I lock down so they can't run away and heal. I kill off his entire crew, or most of them, and then I do the lockdown again, I finish off the robot, and it looks like I'm getting attacked, so, you know, I just... I send people to work. I'm going to teleport these guys back, because I'm not going to have enough time to break down that shield, so I'm just going to attack him with the gun, teleport these guys back, send them to the med bay, and open the door to the med bay, because it looks like that droid really wants to get into the med bay, so he's going to have to fight my dudes inside of it. And he's going to get fucked. He's like, hey, I'm in, oh shit. And you're dead. Now, of course, when you're going to repair shit like that, make sure you open the door so that oxygen gets in there and the engineer doesn't die even though he did just take a lot of damage this this game requires a lot of uh, um, you know micro micromanagement but uh, once you get it down dude it's it's a fun game um, another thing though is like you know at the very beginning the guy's like oh remember death is part of the fun it's like I don't agree with that um, I mean, I do want a challenge, obviously, if I never died, I would never, I'd be done with this game in a day, but, um, I don't like working so far and then losing to, like, a stupid mistake that I did, and it's like, ah, well, guess what, every, every game you play, your ship's gonna be different, your choices are gonna be different, so you're never gonna get to correct that mistake, you're never gonna be like, oh, I wonder what I could have done different, you can't really learn from that if you have to restart all the way over again. You might learn something, but you'll you want to get into that same position again so you can do something different and see if that would have worked. Otherwise, you're going to be wondering about it the whole time. So, to do that, and I'll show you in just a second, you can copy over. And a lot a lot of you already know this trick, but you can uh, go to your folder where you have. Uh, your documents folder and then my games and then go into faster than light click it and then uh, 
you'll see on there, there's a continue save. Well, as long as you, you have to save and quit from the game, and then it'll create that file. Then you copy that file and put it on the folder outside of it, and then call it something like continue one or continue two. I call it pirate last stand, so I know exactly what it is. And then uh, if you die, it deletes that save, because of course it wants you to start over again. This is also how the guy increases the replay value of the game. Well, not today, buddy. <laughs> so I went and, you know, you can just go back, copy the file, put it back in the folder, and boom, you're back where, where you were. Nothing lost, exactly from where you save and quit. Anyways, this is, uh, this is a fun game. This is how I play it. I like to teleport over to their ships, and it's really fun. I, pl I played this on normal, by the way, not on easy. Um, it's surpri it works surprisingly well. Hope you guys try it. Let me know if uh, if you guys have any other ideas or uh, suggestions that I could do. Of course, you know, it's if you make it too perfect of a game, then <laughs> you won't have fun. But um, I got lucky and I got a burst laser Mark III weapon, which you know that's extremely rare. But um, anyways, just let me know what you guys think.